Now that we've introduced the box and whisker plot, we're going to look at a practical scenario for us. This scenario describes the distribution of the runs that a baseball player scored against each team this season. And so up here we can see the maximum happens at 17. That means that against a team somewhere along the season, they scored 17 runs over the course of the season. All right, now we've got a few different questions. First, we're gonna find and interpret the range and the interquartile range. So the range is just like what we've been looking for before where we took the distance from the minimum to the maximum. So here we have our minimum of zero against one team. This player scored zero runs and the maximum is 17. What is the distance between those two? Well, that's 17 minus zero, which happens to be 17. So the range of this data is 17. That means from maximum to minimum, the most runs to the least runs, there was a difference of 17 in the performance of this particular baseball player. The interquartile range is very similar to range. We're still using that same vocabulary word where we're finding the distance between a maximum and a minimum, but now we've got to define this, interquartile. So I like to break that word down into two parts. Quartile talks about the quartiles that we did before to create our box and whisker plot. That would be the first quartile, which happens right here. So this is the first quartile. And our third quartile, which happens here, this is our third quartile. Inter means between. So this word means the range between the quartiles. So we've got our two quartiles. The first quartile happens at two and the third quartile is here at nine. What is the range between those two values? Well, nine minus two happens to be seven. So the range between quartile one and quartile three is seven. That's the middle 50% of our data. If you recall, there's 25% of the data in this category, 25% of the data in this category. So that's kind of the average for our baseball player between two and nine. So the range for that is seven. All right, where do we find the upper 75%? We're gonna tackle this one next. We'll come back to the distribution in just a second. Upper 75% relates again to these. So each one of these categories is 25% of the data. 25% of the data, that means 25% of the time our baseball player was here, 25% of the time here, and here and here. The upper 75% will be these three categories. 25 plus 25 plus 25 added together is 75%. So 75% of the time our player was between two runs scored against the team this season and 17 runs scored against the team this season. All right, let's take a look at distributions. Now there's three basic shapes that we're gonna talk about on this. I've got a picture of those over here. So we'll take a look at those and we'll decide which one of these applies to our box and whisker plot over there. Our first one is skewed left. This describes the fact that the whisker over here is pulled or skewed. Skewed kind of means out of place. This whisker on the left is pulled farther out than the whisker on the right. So since the left whisker is longer, this is skewed to the left. Our next one is symmetric. Symmetric is a word that means it's the same on both sides. So you can see that these whiskers are approximately the same, these boxes are approximately the same, and it doesn't have to be exact, but as long as they are approximately the same, we consider that symmetric. And our last one is skewed to the right, same as skewed to the left. Skewed means kind of pulled out of place or out of center, and we can see that this right-hand whisker has been pulled and stretched off to the right side, so this is skewed right. Okay, take a look at these three shapes. We're going to use that to describe the shape with the baseball player. So we can see right here that over on the left side, the data is compressed together. This is nice and compact. And as we go to the right, it gets more and more stretched out. So this right side has been pulled over and we have a distribution that is skewed to the right. So that's the word that I would use to describe this distribution for this one. We just have to take a look and analyze and we could describe that for any of the box and whisker plots that we'll run into. Thank you.